homecoming as you see us take the field here we were going to win the game regardless of what it took to get that done our initial offensive plan was to be very aggressive and to come out throwing the football uh, with um, Gary Hollingsworth of course who had been outstanding in throwing the ball the week before we were not particularly sharp you see our captains there for the coin toss Gene Jelks getting closer and closer to being the old Gene you'll see him on the opening kickoff here make some people miss to show that great acceleration Gene's going to do a great job for us all year in this area we were not sharp offensively going in our plan to throw the football uh, we just didn't hit open receivers at times other times we were one step out of bounds but we did tackle extremely well and we tackled all day long and thank goodness for that another key factor in the game that I could have lit there's Van Treese Davis a lot of gang tackling a lot of hitting Keith McCants had 11 tackles had another outstanding game here's the best quarterback we've played against in a long long time Brian Mitchell of USL is a great football player he's tough we pounded him all day long we gave him our best shot he just kept getting up running the option running the sprints running that offense and throwing the ball on the money here's a little shovel pass again three yard loss people all over him Keith McCants finally wraps him up and gets him on the ground we get the ball back and we see a, a couple of decent plays here but basically offensively we were not executing very well in the early going here's the fullback parquet big strong runner and they made a little I guess that was eager that time here's eager again parquet is the other fullback number 34 and we got the turnover here which gave us good field position and many of our scoring drives this year have come because of turnovers that our defense has knocked loose for us there's Gary Hollingsworth to Craig Sanderson that's the old Hamilton connection we did hit a few things here here's our own little shuttle pass Saran Stacy great running for seven yards and I mean it was tough going every time we took it up in there USL plays excellent defense. There's a nine yard gain. Here's Kevin Turner who loses his footing here about the five yard line. We actually scored on that drive, had it called back because of a holding penalty and then threw an interception. So it was a frustrating beginning to the game and the score is nothing to nothing at the end of the first quarter. We'll be back with the second quarter after these messages. now in the second quarter and it's nothing to nothing and I uh, interrupted myself a while ago as I started to say another key factor in the game I didn't ever get to the point it's the play of our defensive backs who broke up so many well thrown passes by Brian Mitchell Lee Osmond made the play you saw previously we've got the ball back and there's a nice throw from Hollingsworth to Marco Battle Marco continues to play extremely well for us big Thomas Graham Bragg Rockwell made that hit. Bragg Rockwell did a fine job. We had a number of players, including Spencer Hammond, who spent much of the week in the infirmary with flu. They all played, uh, but Bragg came in and played for Spencer at times. I think all day in the running game, but we part of our plan. Was part of our plan. happens in games like this sometime too is that the players and the crowd think because this is not a school with a big reputation that maybe we're going to score and they're going to relax well they don't relax they keep playing hard in the case of USL and Brian Mitchell keeps working his offense there we tackle the fullback a couple of times Thomas Graham and Van Trace Davis right up the middle good tough running good body lean there by make a throw for nine yards Prince Wembley ends up out of bounds so we have to punt the ball back we did improve in the punting game and we improved in our short offense Keith McCants with his great speed and his great intensity runs Mitchell down from behind here they try the tailback pass great throw by Wade Butler and time after time defensive backs like John Mangum Lee Osmond Ephraim Thomas Charles Gardner 
around this year. And we're holding them well. They just made a goal to try to put as another play of USL had created a real football game for the second half, and we'll be back with that. that was... Catherine Scott Calhoun trains the best college band in America, our million dollar band, and having been an old band member, this is one that makes me wish I could be a part of it. We practice at the same time the band practices, so I know how long and how hard these young people work, and they are terrific. There are a lot of days that I get fired up at practice just listening to their work. So rather than me talk through the halftime, for those of you that couldn't be there, we'll just listen. of our homecoming queen by Governor Guy Hunt. Uh, he, is, he is crowning the lovely Kim Ashley, and she's accompanied by our president, Roger Sayers, and it's homecoming at uh, Alabama, and it's all beautiful. Here's the start of the second half, and as I've said, this is a very physical game. I think probably the most physical we've been in, and Lorenzo Whammy Ward got it started off just about the way the first half ended with a big hit on the kickoff return. Here's Parquet making a little more yards than we'd like. Our two fine inside linebackers make the play. Keith McKenzie and Van Priest Davis. Here again, John Mangum making play after play. A great pass by Brian Mitchell intended for Williams. It's incomplete. Here's a little slip pass to Williams for a couple yard gain. Here on the reverse, they got a big block on Thomas Ram, but Bragg Rockwell stopped it for a two yard loss. And I'm real proud of Bragg being in the game for his first time to really play in the extended period, but they worked it down and got a field goal. And now we're down 10 to seven, and this is the second week in a row that we've been behind. We had not been behind in the game until we got to the Ole Miss game. And so we're learning what our team is made of. And the attitude that no matter what it takes, we're going to come back and win the game is what you got to have if you're going to achieve the kind of goals that we've set for ourselves. And you see Hollingsworth throwing somewhat better in the second half. Here on the sprint draw, Saran Stacy running very hard. Again, excellent tackling by people like Penniman, number 58, who was all over the field all day for the University of Southwestern Louisiana. They were just an excellent football team. Gary Hollingsworth on the bootleg. Can't find anybody. They covered us there. So Gary made a five-yard gain there, and I believe he's going to end up running on this one, too. Gary doesn't have the greatest speed in the world, but he did get himself in great shape this summer. One of these that... He won the respect of his teammates just to run all those 440s and those gassers and those hundreds so that he could be alert in the second half of a tough game. Here George Thornton makes one of his many, many plays. Good game tackling. Brian Mitchell at left guard. Big hit there. That one actually uh, dinged George a little bit, but Mitchell got up and kept right on going. Don't know when I've been more impressed with an athlete than Here's a great interception in one of the big plays today. John Mangum one hands it, comes back up the sideline. Pretty good block in there, and we got it out to about midfield. And uh, this starts a very important drive for us. Most of our touchdowns this year have come after our defense has caused turnovers, which reinforces the reality that football is a game of ball security and field position. Here on the counter, Sweet Murray almost broke that one for a touchdown. If you could have seen from my vantage point down the field, that was a We'll be back with the fourth quarter in just a minute. Find out what we're made out of on the goal line and in the fourth quarter. We start a 13-play drive here. We didn't have but 52 yards to go, but it took us 13 plays to throw a little bit and run a lot and smash the ball into the end zone. 
He picked it up at first and 10 on the 23 yard line. Good running, good blocking. Martin Houston blocking extremely well there. Roger Schultz, look at the movement up front. Look at the tackle by Penniman. Roger Schultz, Chris Robinette, Trent Patterson, Terrell Chapman, Charlie Abrams, Lamont Russell, Danny Cash. Danny Cash filled in well for the missing Vince Strickland. There's Martin Houston taking it up in there. Very tough yardage. This is third and three at left end. We don't make the first down. Saran actually gets tripped up after he's hit, so it comes to fourth and one. Here's the three-yard line. Martin Houston, good wedge blocking. We've got the one yard on the blocking. Now first down and one. Martin Houston again. Good movement up front. And this is something we have not done particularly well this year. Nonetheless, we took the lead to keep it here, and the score is 14 to 10 after that drive. And Phillip forced uh, Mitchell to throw the ball away there. He was hit extremely hard all day. There's a big hit by Steve Webb, and he just kept coming back. Tremendous courage by Brian Mitchell, along with his, his skill. Here on third and 10, one of those things that Spencer Hammond will dream about all his life. If he could have just hung on and taken that ball in the end zone, things would have been considerably easier. We get the ball deep in their territory. We did not drive it in the end zone that time, but I thought the field goal was very significant to go up by seven. Here's Parquet, the fullback. Excellent tackle right in the numbers by Van Treese Davis. The defense gets the ball back for us, and we're starting to crease them now. We've worn them down, and they are big, tough guys. But we're starting to knock him off the ball a little more. Murray on the strength draw here. Goes the distance. A 46-yard touchdown run. And with the extra point, the score is now 24 to 10. This was an excellent chance for southwestern Louisiana to let up or quit. Excellent blocking by Chris Robinette there. Murray beats the free safety. And once he gets a step, of course, it's all over. But you don't see anybody in white jerseys quitting, and you don't see him quitting on this next drive because here's where I was surprised. They were able to take the ball and drive it the length of the field, not the length of the field, but from the 36-yard line into the end zone to score again on our defense as the clock wound down. Brian Mitchell, and those were pinpoint passes right on the money. Another great play by John Mangle. I don't know how many times he made great plays in that football game. Here's something you see a lot of. Keith McCants breaks up interceptions that our DBs, they get upset with him. He's so fast. He gets deep into the secondary and takes away passes that the DBs might have intercepted. <laughs> but he also breaks up passes that people like Williams and McCollum might have caught. Ephraim Thomas, excellent play. There's Charles Gardner. Look at where these balls are thrown now. If you think Ryan Mitchell's not a great player. And he will probably go beyond the 7,000 yard mark for total offense before this season's over. No one has ever thrown and run for as many yards in those two categories in the history of Division A football with the exception of Ryan Mitchell. And that's who we were playing against in that game. Good play by Thomas Gardner. Team. But Lamont Russell made a fine play on the onside kick, and we come out with a good, tough win, 24-17, and you'll hear our players talk about it in the interviews. 